guys, welcome back to Retrospect. Today's video is another talking video. I finally made it back to the microphone. So today I want to talk about why I think it's important to try to finish a painting that may be off to a rocky start. And this painting right here is the perfect painting to tell you this, because this painting did not go as planned. I had really high hopes for it at the start. I really wanted it to be kind of a cool, pseudo-realistic crystal painting, and I had thought of doing some flat panels with some graphic elements, but once I got painting, I was just going from the reference picture, and it wasn't going as planned. You'll see me working on spots and revisiting them and painting over them, and just generally seeming to struggle, and that's because I was struggling. But I decided to stick it through and see what I could make of this painting. And I'm happy that I did, because I did learn something. I don't think that the finished product is my favorite painting that I've ever done, but that's okay. The reason I think it's important to try to stick through and finish painting something that you're not happy with is because once you finish a painting, even if it's not the best painting you've ever done, there's a certain sense of satisfaction. You get this feeling that you've completed something and it's not hanging over you feeling unfinished. When I was in high school, I used to start all these paintings and had these grand ideas, but I wouldn't know how I was going to finish them. And so many of my paintings lay there unfinished because I just couldn't find a way to resolve the composition or to make something work or I hadn't thought it through enough. And it was so demoralizing to me to have all these half-finished pieces just lying around being done. So finishing work is really good for your morale. The second thing is that it gives you a chance to try a new direction because with this one I was going from a realistic or pseudo-realistic approach at the start and I just changed direction. I thought I'll just paint over in flat black and I started with the outline and then I added in some stripes and tried a brief moment with some polka dots you'll see in a minute. That didn't go so well, but I tried it and it didn't make my painting explode. But you never know what's going to happen if you lose that feeling of preciousness. Like some of the pieces I start, I'm so afraid to put one brush stroke wrong because I'm worried that it'll ruin what I've done before it. And I like what I've done before and I don't want to mess up the rest of the painting. But once you abandon that feeling and you're like, well, screw it, I'm just going to see if I can rescue this disaster feel so worried that, oh no, I'm going to ruin it with an express stroke, it's, maybe the next one will save it. So that's why I like to take a sort of who cares approach to paintings like these and just try to throw enough paint, throw enough whatever at it until it becomes something else and something better. I'm not saying that I think every piece that every artist starts deserves to be finished because there obviously are some instances where it's not worth your time and energy to something that's clearly not working. So obviously take that with a grain of salt. There are definitely other ways for unfinished or unresolved paintings to find new life. I could have taken this crystal painting and cut it up and collaged it, put it into something else. Any scrap of canvas, any bit of whatever can be repurposed into something else. So, you know, there's no truly useless piece of paper in my mind. Yeah, there's not always going to be something you want to collage, but you know, there's probably a cool way to use something you've got lying around. As I say, one person's trash is another person's treasure, so I kind of like to apply that approach to my art. But it does get a little problematic when you've got piles and piles of, oh maybe I'll use this art supplies, so I guess an editing eye is also necessary. So I hope this gave you some new insight or maybe helped you pull something back from the brink like I did here. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!